Hi guys, so in this session we are going to explain the project module. For that we need to install the module project management. Let me show you what module it is. Okay. Project. This one, project management and issue tracking. This module is not necessary this can be installed as per your requirement. So I knew this, that's why I have installed this. This, uh, this is a useful module for my purpose. Okay, but anyway, I have installed both of these. This is the basic one, project management. Okay, after that you will get a menu named project. Okay, in the software forms, most of the fo software forms, it's really important to have a project module. Well, you get, uh, you're going to have a new project, then create a project, uh, project named e-learning. If it is e-learning or any project you have, the project name as e-learning auto project. Then who's the project manager? It might be admin or anyone. I'm setting this as admin, okay? And who is the customer? You can select from any one of this customer or create and edit a new customer. I'm choosing Agrolite as my customer. Then who are the team members of this project? E-learning project. Team members are who are? I'm choosing demo user, demo portal user, and admin as a project member, or admin as a project manager also. Okay. Then, and who who can view the visibility of the issues and tasks and everything in public? If this is a public project, then everyone can view this. If this is a customer-related project, and through the portal, these persons can view this. Or internal project, then all empo employee can view this. Or private, the following persons can only view this. This is set by the visibility, public, everybody sees everything. Okay, if this is a portal one, then employees can see everything through the portal. Only available in the portal. Okay. Then other thing, employee only, then employees can only see the task and issues. Followers only, then followers can only see the task and issues. This is really important for a project. Then start date, in date, project is uh, escalation, everything can be set here. Okay. Learning integration, you can create new one. Setting this as e-learning integration, sequence number, currency, which currency you are using, then parent project if there is any. Okay, then project stages, you have an analysis specific, you can add another stage also, no problem. Then saving this. So zero tasks associated with this project, no documents are there, no issues are there. Okay, e-learning Udo project. I'm going to create task for this. How to create a task for this project? Create a task. E learning Udo model setup. Okay, for that I'm assigning uh, e learning project. E learning Udo project. Assigned to admin, reviewer, who is the reviewer? Okay, reviewer also admin, okay, no problem. Deadline, okay, 520 today. Then tax, if this is urgent or something, usability, anything you can use. Experiment, okay. Description of the creator. Create a Moodle website for Udo learning. Okay, extra information, the priority, its priority is high. Then customer, how is high? Grolite as a customer, again, chat viewers, necessary, start date and end date could be specified. Then last step, stage update, everything has been set. Then saving this. 
After saving this, a new task has been added. So this can be viewed from the last view or any view. Okay. Whereas the one me starting date and uh, okay. What is it? Okay, if this is problem, then you can choose my task. Okay, assign to admin. These are my tasks. I am admin, so my task is assigned to admin. Okay, starting date, ending date. So data flow design various model setup. Yeah, here it is. The model setup. There's a task assigned for admin. Then, how can we convert this? This model setup is now in the analysis phase. After analysis phase, we can move into, into the design phase. After its completion, we can move into the development, coding, and everything. Then, say, we can move into the testing phase after everything. After set into done phase. So, the task has been completed and done task has listed here. Okay. No problem. This is how the task is handled. Uh, okay, that's it. Now going to issues. So while doing some tasks, you have any issues or some uh, issues that you cannot resolve, then we're creating that issue or course addition or assignment, assignment evaluation. You have an issue related to the assignment evaluation of the model, then you are setting this and this is an experiment, no problem, assigned to admin. This task is assigned to admin. You are contacting a person for this issue. Okay, demo which one? You are contacting some person for this issue. Okay, I'm choosing this person and set a, send a mail for this. This email, these people will receive a mail regarding this issue. So there's a description. Okay. Assignment. Evaluation. Pattern. Error. Okay. No problem. If there is any extra information, you can set it here. Then saving this issue, assignment evaluation issue. Okay. So this has been listed here. Okay. You can have the followers for this. Add followers. Adding followers will generate a me email for all the followers. Okay. So the, regarding this assignment evaluation issue, the admin and demo portal user will get a mail with this description. That's what related to the following followers. Uh, this following menu, then going to the stages, going to the stages, and the task stages is assigned from here. These are the master pages. You can add it here edit here that will reflect in this task stage then issues issues versions can be edited version one two three you can create or edit all these versions and tags which these are the tags you can create or edit that will reflect these menus okay. that's all about the project it's very simple projects handling tasks handling and issue handling those are very useful tools for all software firms okay it's really important for the analysis purpose and uh, for testing and everything and issue tracking so hope you have enjoyed the session thank you for watching this video thank you very much